हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू फर्स्टली सब्सक्राइब टू एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू फॉर गेटिंग द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर अपलोडिंग ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कोस्टी एंड सेकेंड इज वट इज डायनेमिक और एब्सोल्यूट विस्कोस्टी लेट स्टार्ट विद द नेचर ऑफ विस्कोस्टी ऑफ ए फ्लूड कैन बी अंडरस्टूड most easily by the following experiment consider the flow between two long parallel plates here we take two plates in which one is fixed and other moving with a constant velocity that is capital u the distance between the plates is y as shown in figure to maintain velocity u of upper plate a tangential or shearing force in the direction of motion must act on the upper plate so here we have the figure which shows the velocity distribution of viscous fluid between two parallel plates one is fixed and other is moving the bottom plate that is fixed plate and this is the top plate that is the moving plate it is moving with u velocity and here at the top there is a tangential force or shear stress is applied and the distance between these two plates that is capital y and the velocity distribution as we discussed in our last video in no slip condition uh, when the bottom is fixed and top is free surface in that case the velocity profile that is from 0 to maximum so now we consider two layer ab this is ab and c and d and the distance between these layers is that is dy is the distance and layer ab moving with velocity u that is small u and upper plate or upper layer sorry upper layer cd that is moving with u plus du the viscosity and relative velocity causes the shear stress the velocity causes the shear stress acting between the fluid layers the upper layer cd this is the upper layer cd that causing the shear stress on the adjacent layer uh, ab and the ab that also causing the shear stress on its upper layer cd so here we can say shear stress is directly proportional to the rate change of velocity with respect to y because as y is increasing the velocity is also increases and here this is also velocity gradient and it is denoted by tau the shear stress which is directly proportional to velocity gradient that is denoted by tau so mathematically it can be written as the shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient here we can see these are the fluid layers this is uh, bottom layer this is top layer and these are producing the shear stress on its adjacent layer bottom layer is moving with small u velocity and uh, upper layer that is u plus du so here shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient shear stress is denoted by tau and velocity gradient that is du upon dy so here we can write it tau equal to mu du upon dy this is equation 1 tau equal to mu du upon dy where mu is the constant of proportionality and it is known as coefficient of viscosity or dynamic viscosity because it involves the dimension of force it is also known as absolute viscosity or simply the viscosity of fluid so here equation 1 this is also known as newton's law of viscosity so equation 1 is known as newton's law of viscosity and this law states that shear stress tau on a fluid element layer is directly proportional to velocity gradient that is du upon dy and the constant of proportionality is called mu or viscosity so from equation 1 we have mu equal to tau upon du upon dy and here du upon dy is also known as rate of shear strain or angular deformation for it here we take uh, our initial conditions for a b c and d this is the initial condition 
and after applying the tangential or adjacent shear stress c changes its position c dash new position of c and d new position is d dash so here d d theta is the deformation and this is bottom layer ab moving with u velocity and this is the top layer cd that is moving with u plus du velocity and the distance between top and bottom layer that is dy so here the distance cc dash that is also equal to dd dash and distance is equal to speed into time speed is du and time is dt and for small angular displacement d theta cc dash equal to dy into d theta and for here dy equal to dy into d theta that is equal to du into dt and here we can write it if we bring the dy here and dt in this side then we get du upon dy equal to d theta by dt invoke newton's law of viscosity that means express the shear stress in terms of velocity gradient so tau that is equal to mu upon d du upon dy now we replace the value du upon dy instead of in place of du upon dy write d theta by dt so it becomes tau equal to mu d theta by dt so apparently the shear stress in fluid is dependent on the rate of fluid deformation that is d theta by dt so today we have learnt about what is the dynamic or absolute viscosity and newton's law of viscosity and if you like this video share among your friends and students subscribe to get more video on more topics and universe double 2 thanks for watching have a nice day